Hey, you! Who, me? Yes, you! Oh, hey there. Is your dream to become a successful YouTuber? Um, no, not really. Well, make it your dream, because I need a good intro for this video. Or what is... Actually, actually, actually... It's kind of always been my dream, not gonna lie. Great, then this is the video for you. Gee, thanks. Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie and I'm back in another video. And today, if you guys could not tell from the title of the video or the little intro video that I filmed for y'all, I am here with how to grow your YouTube channel or how to get to your first thousand subscribers on YouTube. So with that being said, keep to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be, and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let me hydrate my voice real quick. I'm thirsty. So the reason why I decided to film this video was because I wanted to give you guys my tips and tricks on how to grow your YouTube channel. So the main purpose of this video is to just help you guys grow your YouTube channel overall. So the reason why I decided to film this video was because I was getting close to uploading my 200th video on my YouTube channel and that to me is a milestone. But what I didn't put into factor was that I've already probably most likely uploaded my 200th video a while ago, not gonna lie. What I didn't put into factor were all the videos that I have taken down from my channel, or all the videos that I have privated, and so on and so on. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I definitely reached my 200th video maybe, maybe even years ago, I don't know. I definitely have felt like I've uploaded over 200 videos because I have a lot of videos privated just because they weren't up to my standards or just I didn't like them, you know what I mean? So instead of me being frustrated or stressing about what I was going to upload for my 200th video, I've decided to make a video to help you guys grow your YouTube channel because I have been in your shoes before. So with all that being said, we're about to jump right into the video. And with that being said, I hope you guys learned something new that will help you guys grow your YouTube channel. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So my first advice is going to be make sure you guys are driven to do this because Everyone wants to be a YouTuber until you guys are up until 3 a.m. editing and that used to be a meme until it became reality. Here's a quick TikTok that I made. Sorry, I had to plug my TikTok. Y'all should definitely go follow me. But with that being said, this is true. Uh, YouTube is a serious business. There's so much competition. There's so many people who want to be YouTubers where it's just so competitive where if your videos aren't appealing to people, they're going to go find someone else's videos that can be appealing to them. And that's where you guys can't get discouraged. I'm not going to lie. This is something that I have been battling myself because I'm not gonna lie if you guys seen my last video that I uploaded of me saying I quit I basically was going through it and just being upfront with y'all and I've been comparing myself to other content creators and stuff like that just overthinking and stuff like that and you can't get into that state of mind you have to go back to the roots on why you started doing YouTube so I would say basically have a good foundation on why you do YouTube because for me I have two reasons on why I started YouTube the first reason is that I just always thought there was too much sadness and negativity in this world that I wanted to spread positivity the happiness by being yourself I just wanted to make people laugh and smile by my weird goofy self and showing people that you could blow up by being yourself and two was also growing up I never really had an Asian role model to look after or look up to so that's why I want to make a name for the Asian community so little Asian kids in America little Asian American kids can look up to someone like me and just be like, if I could do it, y'all could do it. I just want to be inspiration to little kids because that's something I didn't really have. So for my first advice, I would just definitely say make sure you guys are driven. Whether it is you want the clout, you want the money, you want the fame, whatever. Just make sure you are driven in whatever you do because I'm telling you, you need to be passionate for what you do. Because if not, and you turn this into a job, you're not going to have fun doing it. That's what I realized. I learned the hard way. When I made this feel like the job, that's when it wasn't fun no more. You have to stick to your roots and you have to make sure you do YouTube for the original reason you started to make content. To add on to the first one, I know I mentioned it just a little bit, but I would say just be yourself. There is nothing better in this world than being yourself. And that is something that I try to preach to everyone because what you see on me is what y'all get in real life. 
I'd be a weird, goofy, big ass Asian. I'd be myself. So whenever y'all see my camera and whenever the cameras turn off, I'm the exact same person. I'm not gonna switch up. I'm not gonna switch up who I am because I've realized that there's gonna be people in life that like you for who you are and there's gonna be people who don't like you for who you are. And there's no point to trying to please everyone because once you start trying to please everyone, that's when you get in your own head, start overthinking this, that, and that, and then you beat yourself up and then you get to the point where you're like, I don't even know who I am no more. And I don't want no one to get to that point because when you get to that point, it sucks. It's a terrible feeling and I don't want no one else to get to there. So that's why I tell everyone, be yourself. If people don't like you for you, then fuck it. That's their loss. Because as long as you know who you are, the genuine you, whoever you are, that's that's all you can be, bro. There's so many people in my life who are like in high school. I tried to act different, tried to act cool to fit in with the popular cool kids. But I was never really able to be ex like express myself i was never able to express myself and that's what i was able to do with my youtube channel because i'm not gonna lie my youtube channel has been able to help me grow first of all and it's helped me learn a lot and that's, it's helped me be able to be myself my genuine self and made me realize that it's okay to be weird it's okay to be goofy it's okay to be yourself so i want you guys to be yourself on your channel and don't switch up just because the camera's on be yourself when the camera's on and be yourself when the camera's off also going back to what i previously stated do not compare yourself to anyone else. That is way easier said than done. Because let's say you and your friend decide to start a YouTube channel at the same time and your friend blows up way quicker than you or your friend gets more views than you or whatever and you start comparing yourself because you're like, what, why isn't my channel blowing up? Why is his? Why is my videos not good enough? You start overthinking and that's something you cannot do. And I know it's way easier said than done because this is something that I struggle with too. Because there's definitely people, especially around this Kennesaw State University area, I see all these content creators that blow up or get hella views and I'm like, what am I doing differently than them? And at the end of the day, it's great and all that they're blowing up and stuff like that, but that is their story and that is their journey. You cannot compare your journey to theirs because you have to think about it this way. The journey is way worth it because you gotta think about it. The journey is what helps you stay humble, helps you develop and helps you grow as a person. Whereas if you just blow up overnight, you don't get to have that journey. You just get instant clout, instant fame. So you you just kind of just don't know how to act you know what i mean i don't know what i'm saying is making sense but i hope it is but basically what i'm trying to say is just enjoy your moment because this is your story don't compare your story to anyone else's and that doesn't just apply to youtube that just applies to anything in life whether you want to be a nurse um whatever dentist i don't know I, i'm kind of blanking right now but just don't compare yourself to anyone else's because your story your journey is different than everyone else's some people are able to get that fame or become a nurse quicker than others some people are lucky and get that but some people don't and they have to work years and years to be able to achieve their dreams so with that being said just do not compare yourself to others and just ride out your story because this is your story this is your journey and just enjoy it while it lasts you know what i'm saying just take everything as a learning experience and just enjoy everything as it is there you know what i'm saying because one day you're going to be living the life you always wanted because you worked your ass off and you worked hard to achieve everything you wanted to achieve and you're going to look back and be like dang five years ago i really didn't think i was going to be nothing but look where i am now that's the mindset you gotta think about it's all a mindset you know what i'm saying just don't compare yourself to others the next device that i'm going to give to you is something that i feel like that i've been doing pretty good this this year and that is consistency you have to be consistent for me i've been uploading a video every single wednesday this year haven't missed a day and i'm not gonna miss the day and your boy's on top of his stuff and you know what i'm saying i'm out here and just wait until i graduate because once i graduate college i'm telling you there's gonna be two maybe even three uploads a week we're gonna see because just your, your boy's on the grind after i graduate college i'm gonna be grinding 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 and you guys do not know how much more effort i'm going to put into this because this is something i want to do this is something i want to take seriously and I'm done comparing myself to others. I'm done overthinking about whatever. My, this is all my, this is my focus. My whole focus is on YouTube right now. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. But like I was saying, stay consistent, set up a schedule and just make an upload schedule that works for you. Because I'm telling you, consistency is key. If your viewers see you upload a video and then you upload for another month or two weeks or so on and so on, you take forever to upload, they're gonna lose interest and go find someone else that's gonna upload consistently. So you gotta be consistent. That's, I would say that's probably one of the biggest things. And also just because you are consistent and you upload bad videos every day, people are gonna notice that. People wanna see 
good quality videos that are consistent. So keep that into the mind too. Don't upload half-ass bullshit videos because I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely been there. I've uploaded some half-ass videos, but not anymore, not anymore, that's on me. I'm on to a new brother Jackie Wongers. So don't upload no half-ass videos. Make sure you put out the best product that you can put out. And now we're gonna move on to something that's kind of different from all the other stuff, and that's gonna be YouTube Shorts. When it comes to YouTube Shorts, bro, you gotta jump on that because that's a quick way to gain views, to gain traction to your channel because it's just quick and easy. People will be scrolling on the phones and they see your video, double tap, move on, or double tap, hit subscribe, whatever. It's an easy way for you guys to get views. I learned this out because I make crazy TikTok videos and what I've noticed is that I posted some of my crazy TikToks onto my YouTube channel shorts and those have gotten views and it's gotten to be my most viewed video. Because of YouTube shorts, I was able to get my views over six figures. YouTube shorts has definitely helped out a lot and you should definitely hop on that. And maybe you don't want to do YouTube shorts because you don't want to be known as a YouTube shorts guy or whatever or you don't want to be known as a YouTube shorts YouTuber. No, just upload your YouTube shorts because if they subscribe, there's going to get tractions to the other videos that you make. And if they see good quality content that they see, they're going to keep watching. And then the more views you get, it's going to more traction you can get. So basically what I'm trying to say is just get your name out there. So especially if you guys make TikToks, just upload your TikToks onto YouTube Shorts. And who knows? It could change your life. Who knows? That's what I've been doing lately. And I'm probably going to keep uploading YouTube Shorts just because they're quick. They're easy to upload. And I have so many cringy TikToks to upload. So stay tuned for all that. So I would just say definitely hop on to the YouTube Shorts because you YouTube really is promoting the YouTube shorts a lot right now. So hop on that. And here is my last tip that I'm going to give you guys today. And that is have fun. Have fun doing what you're doing. Have fun recording. Have fun with your friends recording. Have fun going out recording. Just basically have fun doing what you do. Have fun editing. I know editing can be a long, tedious process, but have fun with everything you do. Because like I said, once you start losing the fun, then there's no point. For me, when I started losing the fun in making videos or making YouTube videos was when I I put too much pressure on myself or when I started overthinking or when I made this into like a job or I try to make, I force myself into making this a job. That's when it wasn't fun no more. I realized when I just don't overthink or when I just have fun doing what I do because I just have to remember like I was once a little, what's it called? Eighth grader, seventh grader, watching Madden YouTubers trying to make fucking gaming videos and that turned into real life videos. I remember that I just used to have fun doing what I do and I just wanna be a big kid and have fun making videos. So that's right now I'm just being creative and doing what I wanna do. For example, with the beginning of this video, I was just like, why not, let's have some fun. I thought it would be funny and I was just like, why not, let's film it. Lately, a lot has been on my mind, especially if y'all haven't seen the last video I uploaded. I could definitely tell there's been a lot on my mind. So I really do appreciate and love everyone support that has been with me since the beginning or whenever y'all been with me. I just love the support and like, especially in the last video, I really, 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 really needed it. Y'all understand how much I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. I didn't know that I impacted or was loved by so many. So I really do appreciate everyone from my last video and just moving forward and people who've been there and people who are going to be there and Y'all understand how much I love y'all. But with that being said, I'm looking at YouTube very, very differently now. Instead of trying to force myself to make it a job or force myself to do this and that and that, fuck all that shit. I'm gonna be having fun. I'm gonna be doing what I wanna do. I'm gonna make videos that I wanna make. I wanna edit videos the way I wanna edit them. I wanna do everything my way because I wanna have fun. I wanna have fun doing what I do. So I'm gonna bring you guys along my journey and I'm just gonna show you guys me. I hope y'all seen the improvement from my first video to now, because like I said, this is technically my 200th video on my YouTube channel, but I definitely have uploaded over 200 videos because, um, you know, I private a lot because a lot of them were very cringy and bad and wasn't up to the Jack for longer standards. I'm not gonna lie, there's probably still some videos up on my channel that aren't up to my standards, but we're gonna leave them up for now. So we'll see what happens. But with that being said, I hope you guys got some good advice or good tips today. Um, if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, don't dislike this video, you know what I'm saying? Or don't leave a nasty comment because, you know what I'm saying, that hurts me, you know what I'm saying, that hurts me. But with that being said, if there's any tips or advice that you guys want to give me, let me know down below in the comments. And let me know down below in the comments as well if this video helped you out. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share your boys out.